guys are never going to believe this. I was down at the bathhouse. I had already showered and I was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with an incredible story. What happened? Well, she said that earlier tonight, just after dark, there was a Bigfoot sighting. A what? A Bigfoot sighting. You know, that huge half-man, half-beast that lives in the woods. They say he looks something like an eight-foot-tall gorilla man. He's got huge feet. There have been sightings all over the U.S. and Canada. Is that true? Of course it's not true. Bigfoot is just a story, so there's no way anybody could have seen him. I hate to disagree, but let me tell you everything this woman said. All right. Go ahead. Tell us. Okay. Well, she said that this couple over on the other side of the campground had finished their dinner and they were building a fire. Suddenly they heard a rustling from the woods and then a strange moaning sound. They could hardly believe their eyes when this huge, hairy creature came and picked up a whole box of their food and carried it away through the woods. Oh, no. Did they go after him? I don't know. She didn't say. You know what? I think this kind of talk is ridiculous, and I'm not listening anymore. There are no such things as monsters. I'm going to the bathhouse to shower and brush my teeth. Better take your flashlight with you. I don't think he likes the light, but if the light doesn't scare him, you can use your flashlight as a weapon. Ha ha, very funny. <laughs> Say, Christina, how about toasting some marshmallows? <laughs> Good idea. I'll go get the marshmallows. I'll go find some sticks. there. Whoa, hold on. Tell me what happened. Okay. Well, I was on the path to the bathhouse when I heard this noise like some big animal in the woods, uh -huh. and I shined my flashlight towards the noise, and I saw it. Saw so what? Bigfoot. Beth thinks she just encountered Bigfoot on the path to the bathhouse. Oh, Beth, he doesn't exist. Oh, I'm sorry I ever told that dumb story. Where's your flashlight? When I heard him, I dropped it along with my towel and other stuff. Come on, let's go get your stuff and I'll show you there's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, see? Here's my stuff. What was that? Did, did you hear that? The question is, what is it? Oh no, it's him. It's Bigfoot. Beth, stop it. There's no such thing as Bigfoot. It's just some animal, some small animal. You head for camp. I'm going to figure out what's going on. Okay. Amy. Hey, Amy. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Yeah, I did. Come over here and look at this. Looks like whoever, whatever it was, came pretty close to camp. That does it. I'm leaving. I'm not staying here one minute longer than I have to. Hey, Beth! Come back. I think the mystery of Bigfoot is solved. What? I discovered these over there in the bushes. What, you think someone used those to make the creature? Exactly. That's terrible. Why would anyone want to scare us like that? I was wondering that myself. You don't think I did it? I do. First, before you told us about Bigfoot, you had already left a bearskin and tape recorder hidden in the woods. Then, when Beth left to take a shower, you went to get some sticks to toast the marshmallows. You were gone when Beth had her encounter with Bigfoot. Well, that was just a coincidence. Was it? You didn't come with us when Beth and I went to get her flashlight and things. 
After we left, you had plenty of time to reset the recorder and to make the footprints before we returned. Aha! Busted! You're pretty good, Christina. I didn't think I'd get caught. Amy, how could you? Oh, come on, guys. I was only kidding. We're just having fun. I didn't think you'd actually believe it. Forgive me? Well, I guess. But no more practical jokes, okay? I promise. Anyway, now everybody knows Bigfoot is just a story. Yeah. Or is he?